Hi everyone, today I wanted to help you get your Google Wallet account set up and show you how to use your Google Wallet. First you're going to open up your Google Wallet application that was either pre-installed or that you downloaded from the Google Play Store. Once the application loads you'll see the Google Wallet welcome screen. One of the things you'll find on the Google Wallet welcome screen is a list of any special offers that they have going. So you'll click get started to go to the next screen and that brings you to the terms of service screen. Take a minute to read all the terms of service and then click I agree if you agree. The next page is where you associate a Google account with your Google Wallet. If you've already signed on to your phone with a Google Wallet account, it'll display that account here on the Select an Account page. We're going to go ahead and set up a new Google account just in case you're not sure how to do that. So it does give us the option to add an existing account again or to go ahead and log in and create a new one. And that's what we'll do. You'll go ahead and enter a first and last name and click Next. And then we're going to create an email address for this new Google account. We'll go ahead and use the Galaxy Nexus name. We'll add some numbers. And as you notice, it is an at Gmail account. We'll select Next to move on to the next part, which is creating your password. Make sure that you use the eight character minimum. And then you retype the same password right underneath. This next page is the recovery information page. It's going to ask you for an additional email address. In case you ever lose your password for your new Google account, they'll email you the security question that you're going to put in underneath to allow you to reset your password. It gives you a list of security questions that you can select from and then you'll answer the question underneath. This next page will ask you if you'd like to join Google Plus and start circling and messaging your friends. We're going to go ahead and skip past that for now. And we're finally wrapping up our new Google account and it's asking us to authenticate just for security reasons. And now it's asking us to enable purchases in the Google Play Store. We're going to go ahead and skip that for right now. This screen is asking if we'd like to back up our information with our Google account, and we will. So we'll go ahead and select Next. And now it's going to show us our new Google account. Let's go ahead and select it. And now it's going to ask us to set a PIN for our Google Wallet. And then it's going to ask us to re-enter that same PIN. Make sure to select something that you can remember. And now we're inside our Google Wallet. Now Google Wallet is set to accept a couple different kinds of cards. This first one is the City MasterCard. This next card is probably the most used. It's going to be the prepaid card where you can add funds from your bank account, checking account, or another credit card. And the third card type is a gift card. There's not a lot of gift cards that are available to log into Google Wallet, but the list is always growing, so make sure to check in every once in a while and see if they've added new cards. We'll go ahead and tap our prepaid card, and you can see our Google MasterCard is activated, and there is a $10 balance on our prepaid card already. Right now, Google is giving that $10 to you for free for activating your Google Wallet account. Now I'm going to show you how to make a purchase using your Google Wallet. My first purchase with my new Google Wallet account was made here at a Coke machine. So you'll go ahead and tap your phone, you'll hear the tone, and then you'll receive a transaction confirmation. The vending machine will then tell you that you've paid, and you can select your soda. I also used my Google Wallet to make a purchase at a local store. Very simple, the cashier just rang up my purchase, I tapped my phone to the PayPass logo, and out printed a receipt. I didn't have to sign or anything, I got my transaction confirmation again. It was a very quick and very simple transaction. So now that we made some purchases with our Google Wallet, I want to go ahead and show you how you can see your transaction history and some other neat features of the Google Wallet. When we launch the application, it asks for our PIN number. Once you enter that PIN number, it brings you to your home screen and then select offers. Your phone uses your GPS to know what Google Wallet participating stores are in your area and it will show you special offers and incentives and discounts that you can take advantage of by paying with your Google Wallet. Next we're going to go ahead and look at rewards cards. You can add rewards cards here in your Google Wallet. Now it doesn't have a lot but once again just like the gift cards check back often as they add additional cards you can get your rewards and you won't have to keep track of any cards on your keys or cards in your wallet. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our transaction history. This is going to be a list of all the transactions we've made with our Google Wallet. It gives you some good information like the dollar amount and the vendor that you purchased from. And that's everything you need to know about activating your Google Wallet account and making a purchase. Thanks for watching.